Hi, this is Gary Rosenzweig. Yesterday, Steve Jobs and company announced the iPhone SDK, or Software Development Kit. Let's take a look at what this is going to mean for those of us with iPhones on this episode of MacMost Now. So what did we learn yesterday? Well, we learned three things. The first thing is that the development kit is available now for developers, but the applications won't be available for regular iPhone users until the end of June. Second thing we learned is the applications will be sold and distributed freely exclusively through the App Store, which will be part of the iPhone interface and part of iTunes. The third thing we learned was that developers will have a business arrangement with Apple. They will have to be approved by Apple and there will be some qualifications. For instance, no porn, no malicious software, that type of thing. And they will get a revenue split. 70% to the developer, 30% to Apple for costs. Now also at the press conference yesterday, a few developers took the stage. These are developers that got asked by Apple to come to Cupertino and spend a couple weeks with the development kit. They developed some test applications. One was Spore by Electronic Arts, which is kind of a mini version of the game. We don't know if this is ever going to be a real product. Another one was much more likely to be something we see in June, which was a version of Super Monkey Ball from Sega. So almost immediately the front page of the Apple website showed information about the SDK. It was right there on the front page and you can click and go to a special developer section about the SDK. There are lots of videos, some demos, and of course a download of the SDK which is a whopping 2.1 gigs. You also can pay to be part of the developer program and this is to get them to make sure that all the developers are on the up and up and don't have any malicious intent. So it's mostly just a fee for a security check. So what would this really mean? Well, what this means is that at the end of June, or more likely the beginning of July, there will be this App Store and you'll be able to purchase all sorts of applications. There's likely to be games, productivity apps, connectivity apps, all sorts of different things. So you'll be able to get a lot more use out of your iPhone. In fact, it will become a platform, a full platform for software development and a really interesting one at that because a lot of these apps are going to take advantage of the fact that you can simply manipulate what's on your iPhone by moving it around. It has what's called an accelerometer inside of it that can detect when you move it and how you orient it. We've already seen that in action in some of the apps but apparently it's even more sensitive than we thought. In addition, there's a very high resolution screen on the device and of course there's the multi-touch. So there'll be lots of interesting applications made for it. Some of these applications are probably going to be based on some entertainment things or general population things. Things that just about anybody can use if they're interested enough. Other things are going to be very specialty oriented. Maybe a specialty application for doctors or nurses or for your industry or for keeping inventory in certain types of stores. Uh, the sky's really the limit. So there will be lots of specialty applications created and it looks like they may be created on the iPhone much easier than on other mobile devices. This means a very wide adaptation of the iPhone in lots of different places. So the more interesting applications are for the iPhone, the more people will buy an iPhone. The more people that buy an iPhone, the more applications may be developed. This may indeed help Apple reach its goal of selling 10 million iPhones by the end of this year. But is the iPhone really a good device for developing applications? Well, it looks like it might be. It has a version of OpenGL on it which means we'll be able to do 3D objects on the iPhone. It has lots of core technologies for handling audio, handling database connectivity, all sorts of things. It looks like this software development kit may be worlds above the software development kits for other mobile devices. And of course let us not forget that most of these apps that will be developed for the iPhone will also work on the iPod Touch making that a very useful Wi-Fi PDA. So just how big of an announcement is this? I mean this has the potential to be huge. This could revolutionize everything. It could be a true mobile connected computing platform. So we'll see what happens and it's going to happen fast. By the end of this year we'll really know what the potential of the iPhone is. Until next time this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.